Okay, so I'm back. I am continuing my my quick um brief run through of all my DS games um that I'm going to review later. I stopped at Buckingham Palace. So this is part two. Um I stopped at how like there's history of it. It's really it's a good game. So I pretty much stopped right on the perfect timing on that. So the next one is that's actually kind of I don't know if it's new. Dream Chronicles. It's of course another hidden mystery game, um by Zoo Company. Zoo Games. Anyway, um it's a really good one. The art is beautiful as well as uh many others I just showed you. Um it's still in my top picks. I mean it wasn't really great because it wasn't great because it just, uh, the storyline, I don't know. It's, I guess I shouldn't really, it, it just, I, you get through it pretty quick, and I guess that's maybe why I didn't really prefer it, but it's still, the storyline's adorable and, like, really dramatic. I mean, her husband, her husband is, um, kidnapped, and, um, and actually it turns out that he's, his parents are fairies, and he's a fairy, so he's a prince. His mom and dad are king and queen of a fairy land. It's really, I just kind of gave that away, I'm sorry. But it's its a cute story, and um, she has to, she's a human, and their daughter is a human, and he still loves her so much, and hes he's been kidnapped, and she has to, like, figure out his secrets and everything. So it's, it's, it's a really cute game, Dream Chronicles. Okay. The next one is Chronicles of Mystery, Curse of the Ancient Temple, and I will say there's another new one that just came out, and it's um, Chronicles of Mystery, and it's The Secret Tree of Life. Oh, hello, this is my cat, Bootsy, who I have another video of, my first video up there of YouTube. Bootsy! Aw, she is, she is a great cat, by the way, everybody. I love her, and she just woke up from a great nap, didn't you, honey? Look at her, she's just so happy. Hey, Bootsy. Look at those green eyes. Beautiful green eyes. She is exactly four years old, people. She's getting old. No, she's not old. I'm just kidding. She's going to sit here with us and review some games or rub on them, whatever. She's so lovely right now. She just woke up from a great nap, I guess. <laughs> a little too great. Oh, she, wow, you need your lazy. Um, anyway, so... There's that new Secret Tree of Life, Chronicles of Mystery. I really want to get, but I just can't right now because I just bought too much already enough. So, this one's okay. I mean, it's not great, but it's... I haven't finished it. But please stop that, please. She just bumps the... But I haven't finished it yet. It seems okay. It's pretty good, the storyline. And the, my cat is knocking over. Ah! Thank you! You just have to be the star of the show, don't you? Oh, gosh. Anyway, so she just, like, knocked over all my DS games that I'm done with anyway, that I just showed you all. <sighs> Sorry. Crazy cat. Look at this. She's sitting on my PSP right now. So happy. Happy as a clam, I say. Oh, yeah, we already looked at that before. Okay, so this is a good game. Okay, let's move on. Um, okay, another one that's really great, and it's a really brand spanking new, um, Murder in Venice, um, see these, this next pile that I'm going to show you is games that aren't, they're not great, okay, I lie, I accidentally said this is great, I'm sorry, I thought I was going to the next pile, I mean, these are games that are okay, but kind of disappointed me, this next pile, right, well, what am I doing, this pile right here, so, okay, so this is brand spanking new, like I said, Murder in Venice, and it was a real disappointment so far. I just started it, and it's already disappointing me because, I mean, the art is beautiful. But, I mean, like she even says, the character, she's like, why is all of Venice so messy? Well, you have to clean up everything. So it just makes it look like a jumble of junk. It's The hidden objects are great, but, I don't know, the storyline, it's just not as... It's just, the graphics aren't as beautiful as I thought they'd be. It's really, like, drawings, and 
they're not even like black and white like they don't I don't know they uh, you think it'd be like this like the front cover that they're beautiful characters and everything like even the one guy looks like gorgeous for yes my preheated oven is preheated I'm eating some fries that are kind of like from checkers anyway um off track sorry I thought it was going to be beautiful artwork like that but it's not it's really just this like right here if you can see her face it's like cartoonish it's really crappy it's not as beautiful as I thought it was going to be like that guy like that's supposed to be the guy in the front cover it's just ridiculous I mean I didn't I'm disappointed. I thought because it says, you know, murder in Venice, like Italy, that it was going to be beautiful, and it was not. So, I mean, it's not terrible, but, I mean, it's not great either. Excuse my foot. So, this one is another disappointment, Mystery P.I., Portrait of a Thief. So easy, too easy, where it was just ridiculously easy. I mean, all the characters, it's a childish game. I mean, the art's cute and actually really nice, like, some of it's like, you know, realistic, and then others are cartoony, which I like kind of in my hidden objects, but man, this was too easy. I, would, I mean, they say brain teasing mini games, not really a brain teaser when it's like, you know, word search. Come on. I, I don't know. I, I really made a big mistake on buying that. I don't know. I just want to warn you. Another one, and come on. Everybody has said Grey's Anatomy, the video game. The DS game is such crap. I mean, it's so dramatic in the sense it's not even like the show. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, the surgical parts aren't really surgical. Like, if this focuses on. See this? You circle stuff for like x rays. It's about it. And when you do put stuff like a tube in somebody's, down somebody's throat, I mean, you don't really technically put it down their throat. It's. It, I don't know. I mean, you do, but it's like... I don't know. It's, it's, um... You don't really do the surgical things. It's just, it's really dumb. I mean... I don't know how to explain that game. I'll go through a re review with each game sometime. Um, this one's really another real new one. I mean, the ABC Murders, Agatha Christie. Everybody... This is a classic. This is from the book series, um, Agatha Christie. Um, this is, this is to my mom. I mean, this is only because of my mom that I even know about some of this stuff. My mom is an Agatha Christie fan. I mean, okay, Agatha Christie fanatic fan, I should say. And she, um, watches all the old, you know, the shows that's on, like, all, you know, it's like a Brit, a British show, so... She likes Brit comms also. I mean, my mom is, she has her own style. So, she was interested in this game, but I played it. I got it. She didn't get it yet. I got her some other games that she liked more for Christmas. But this one, I don't know. It's really hard, and I put it in the category in my little section of, like, disappointment because it's just too hard. I'm going to say I'm an idiot. I'm, I mean, I must be stupid, but I can't do these, like, these, like, brain busters, like, I mean, it's, like, kind of mathematical things, like, little, like, um, problem-solving things you have to do in your head, and I actually had used in paper and, and pencil to do it, and I'm just not into that kind of a thing, I mean, I'm out of school for a reason, I don't like school, I mean, I graduated, don't worry, I went through high school, but I hated school, so, just imagine, this is really annoying the crap out of me, so, don't just go by my opinion, that's just my opinion, Actually, I have to say then that this is a great quality game then. It's actually hard and really a brain teaser. So go and get it. Um, but I'm just, um, I'm a dummy, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to, this is just my opinion, people. You know, hey, it's, it's really actually a great game. I just, I need to, like, have some time to do it. Um, I need to, like, give it a chance. Okay, this one. Okay. Why is this in my disappointment section? I forget. Okay, James Patterson, um, Women's Murder Club, Games of Passion. This is a good one. I really like it, actually, so far, but I guess the disappointment was that it's, um... It's, it's a crime game, and you just really don't do that much crime stuff. I guess that was my disappointment of it, but it's really, it's a good game. Um, 
this camera focuses when it wants to, I'm very sorry. I have to have it on a certain setting, which I have to ask my husband because it's his camera. So forgive me for this. Um, it's it's really the graphics are good. I mean, look at the people; they're realistic. I like that part of it, and the hidden objects are cool. But I don't know. It's a very slow running story, and it's kind of. I guess that's why it's in my disappointment section. I don't really remember. I'm sorry, people. Okay, rooms, the main building. My mom recommended this. She said it looks so good from the previews on TV or whatever, the trailers. And I tried it. I It's in my disappointment section because it's really actually majorly hard. And some parts are really odd. Like, you can build your own um, puzzles of it. But, see, I'm not a big fan of sliding... Um, picture puzzles in the first place where you slide them and you know organize them into the picture and that way you like kind of um you get through the game like that where your person has to move to the next little square where you like shift it and it's really hard I mean <laughs> at first it's really really easy actually but then as you get higher and higher to the higher buildings then like the mansion sections it gets harder and I can't get past them of it anymore um okay this one's in my disappointment section too now because um, and this video is going to end soon. This video is going to go really long. Okay. This one's in my disappointment section because this one is um, another hidden mystery, Salem Secrets. It is a, dis a disappointment because the story was kind of good and intriguing. In, I mean, in, excuse me, intriguing, but it just, it was really hard to get through some parts of it. And then when you do get through it, it was, like, kind of easy, actually. So it's, like, it's really misleading, and it's, um, it's, it's, it was just all, it was a mess. I don't know how to explain it. It was just really weird. I, I don't know. I just didn't like it. And a lot of Hidden Mysteries games, I, they seem to have that same style, that they're just all weird like that. I don't know. They're just, they, they don't last long. They're just a quick, quickie game that just ends quick.